What we're looking at here is a water leak at the base of a toilet. There we can see the water. Another shot, more water. Now most of the time, these leaks are going to be from a wax ring that is no longer functioning properly. And most of the time, the easiest solution you're going to have for this is to simply install another wax ring over the old wax ring or remove the wax ring, clean the area, and then install two wax rings. But it all depends. You might just need one wax, wax ring. It all depends on the uh, situation. Um, this is the easiest way that most plumbers fix this problem. They just simply install two wax rings and they are done. The wax will squash around the perimeter of the area. It'll simply squash out like you're seeing it here, flatten out um, and get, provide them with a nice seal. Now this problem right here usually is caused from a toilet that rocks back and forth. Eventually if it's moving it will flatten one side of the ring a little more than um, it should be and this provide this would create a gap. So if you can imagine the toilet rocking to the left. So you're sitting on the toilet and you can actually move it. Um, as it moves from the right to the left it will actually be squashing the wax ring on both sides as it moves. Moves to the right it's going to put a little more pressure here, squish this down. Moves to the left it's going to put a little more pressure here, flatten this area. Eventually you're going to have a gap in these areas which would allow water to seep out through it and then onto the, onto the underneath the toilet and onto the floor. Here are the two wax rings. You have, a, you have a wax ring with a plastic flange, one without. I don't recommend using two, uh, two wax rings with a plastic flange. You can always use one with a flange, install that one first, and then one without a flange, install that one on top of this one. And here you can see the base of the toilet flange is clean. We're getting ready to put this one on, and then this one will go on top. Now, the bolts might not be, if you have toilet flange bolts and they are loose, you cannot um, tighten them, then you're going to need to fix the bolts. You're going to need to fix that. And I can always try and provide you with some more information on that in another video. Just feel free to leave, leave a comment in the comment area uh, or, or send me some pictures of what type of problem you have. Because if you have a wood floor, and the toilet is leaking underneath the wood floor, it is going to rot the wood floor out. This is not a good thing. You have a concrete floor, it's not going to do much damage, but a wood floor is going to tear it up. Another problem you could have would be a crack in the bottom of the toilet. This would be in the areas where the water runs through the toilet or remains while it is not being used. If you have a toilet and the water inside the toilet bowl is um, going down. You know, you flush it, it sits for a while, but you come back in two hours and, the, and there's, there's, the water level has lowered, then you might have a crack in the bottom of the toilet. I am not suggesting that you do have a crack. This water could be leaking for other reasons or, or the water level could be changing for other reasons. But if the water level is lowering and you have water leaking out while it is not being used, while the toilet is not being used, then there's a very good chance that you have a crack in your toilet and the wax ring is not the problem. So I hope that makes sense. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment area or send me some pictures if you're having a problem that you are having a difficult time with. And of course, that would include anything. Don't forget that you you guys and gals give me suggestions. Uh, you know, you might have a question for, for me and then I can make it into a video. So it kind of helps us both ways. So just keep that in mind when you're sending me the questions. Sometimes you're actually doing me a favor.